guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So originally for today, I had a heavier video filmed, but I kind of want to hang on to that one for later simply because I don't want to talk about something too heavy right now. I figured that since it's the end of the year, we should really take advantage of our last opportunity to clown on Cosmopolitan because we don't want to waste a day. So I found a Cosmopolitan article that's titled 38 New Year's Quotes to Start 2020 on the Right Note. I actually wanted some good Instagram captions, but Cosmopolitan is terrible, so I kind of assumed we would have more shit ones than good ones. So let's see, are we gonna be a New Year, New Me caption? <laughs> So I'm not gonna read all 38 quotes, but I'll pick some here and there and I'll link it down below if you need some Instagram captions because that's the most important thing about the new year. Not bettering yourself, not making positive changes. No, no. Instagram captions. Hey there, friend. Are you drunk right now? Maybe hungover? I get it. I often find myself searching for words of inspiration when I have a splash of alcohol in my system. And around this time of year, I'm always made of at least 5% champagne. Aren't you? It's the holidays. By the end of December, I'm deep in the hashtag new year, new me mindset. I'm setting my intentions for the new year and thinking about what I accomplished the year prior and 2020 is gonna be major. It's a whole new decade. What could be a better tool to help you reflect on the past 365 days and devise your goals for the new year than motivating quotes? I'm not talking about making resolutions that you'll never keep. Um, yeah, I'll totally be at the gym every single morning. I'm team surround yourself with wisdom and maybe it'll be contagious. Or who am I kidding? Maybe you're here because because you need a clever, not basic idea for the gram. Been there. Anyways, as 2019 comes to a close, here are a bunch of New Year's quotes and caption ideas, hi, to inspire you to get that promotion. Delete that fuckboy's number, actually return all the packages that have been piling up in your room on the chair and start 2020 off the right note. Are you ready to start thriving? Now, actually, this might be a little bit surprising, but I do like motivational quotes. The thing is, there's a very fine line between actually motivating and actually true and cheesy, overdone, boring, and should be left in the MySpace era, okay? The number one reminds me deeply of MySpace because I remember seeing this quote when I had MySpace and those like little emoticons with like the little Bratz doll looking figures. Do you remember those? Anyway, cheers to the people who love us, the losers who lost us, and the lucky ones who still get to meet us. I thought it was cheers to people who love us, the bastards who lost us. I like that version better. It's a lot more aggressive. New year, same me. Less bitter, more glitter. I would quit drinking champagne for my new year's resolution, but nobody likes a quitter. Yes, queen. So far, I'm not really impressed. These all seem quite basic. I thought they were trying to say these weren't basic. This is basic bitch 101, okay? so. Cosmo, if you need a new writer, hi, I'm here. You'd have to pay me a lot because you guys have a really bad reputation in my book, so I'd need a lot. You'd essentially have to bribe me to work there or put a gun to my head. Okay, I actually like this one because it's a Charlie Brown quote. You know how I always dread the whole year? Well, this time I'm only going to dread one day at a time, Charlie Brown. Frankly, I relate with that one. Then there's a quote from The Incredibles that is actually kind of cliche. I never look back, darling. It distracts me from the now. Eh, a little bit cheesy. I actually like this one. It, I can't believe it's been a year since I didn't become a better person. I actually like that. I actually don't mind this one. 12 new chapters, 365 new chances. Okay, then there's another one that's a Lizzo quote and it says, woke up feeling like I might just run for president. I mean, it's okay. I, I would prefer I'm 100% that bitch, but okay. So they have multiple sections. That's why you might see numbers repeating like one, two, whatever. Um, they have a section that is musical quotes and frankly, a lot of them are cheesy in the sense of it sounds good in the song, but as a caption, it's not that great. Like, thank you, next. How many times have we seen that caption realistically? Or the best is yet to come. These are all things that sound generic. Even if in songs they sound good here, it's just kind of like, this is not a groundbreaking quote. So I don't know why that would be the one to put. But like I said, some of them were funny. However, I'm low key kind of tempted to make my own post <laughs> with like actually good quotes to put um, as, wisdom or Instagram captions or whatever the fuck, um, mainly because I feel like they'd be less basic, hopefully, maybe, who knows. Okay, so since I like being transparent here, I figured I would tell you guys what my quote-unquote New Year's resolutions are. 
Um, and please feel free to share yours down below if you want to. But my first one is to improve my mental health and find a work slash relax balance. I realize that a lot of the time I work myself until I burn out and then it's really hard for me to recover and I kind of fall off. And so I really want to find a way to not get to the point of burning out. So finding a good balance between working and relaxing. And when I relax to actually relax, because sometimes I'm what I call quote unquote relaxing, where I'm not doing work, but I'm thinking about work or I'm anxious about work. So then I end up not having any relaxed time. I'm just stressed, if that makes sense. So I don't really know how to unplug properly. And aside from that, I, of course, want to improve in terms of my anxiety, my panic attacks, my depression. But I think that goes without saying. Aside from that, I want to improve self-appreciation. I don't want to say self-love because self-love to me always sounds body centric. Like I always think of better body image when I hear self-love. Maybe that's just me. But when I say self-appreciation, I include body stuff, but I also mean, and I've talked about this before on this channel, how I have difficulty giving myself credit for accomplishments and I have difficulty celebrating my accomplishments. And I really want to improve that because I think it's a lost opportunity when you do something good and you accomplish something to just kind of brush it off. And that's typically what I've been doing for years at this point. And I really would like to be able to be happy for myself the way I'm happy for my friends because I'll be so excited for my friends, but for myself, I'm like, bitch, shut the fuck up and I don't like that I know that my mom does that too and I'm always mad because I'm like be happy for yourself you need to be happy for yourself but I'm the same so I want to improve on that and then last of all I want to improve my gym mentality what I mean by this is that I go to the gym typically three times a week right but the way in which I go isn't the healthiest because since I'm recovering from an eating disorder sometimes it gets unhealthy in the sense where like if I don't go, I'll tell myself you're worthless, you're ugly, you're just like a whole series of like really terrible things. And I use that as my motivator to go to be like, now you can change yourself. So then you can be, you know, not ugly. And I don't like that mentality. And recently I've been improving and I've been going because I feel good after I go. I feel good feeling stronger. I feel good being in shape. So I want to continue to go with that mentality. But like I said, for my first point, sometimes I burn myself out so much that I'm so tired that I stop going to the gym and then I stop feeling good and then my self-appreciation goes to shit. So they're all kind of tied together. Uh, so these were the three I really wanted to work on specifically because they're tied together and one affects the other. So if I improve all of them, I think I would all around physically, mentally, emotionally be in a better place place. So yeah, if you guys want to share your resolutions or improvements, whatever you want to call them for the new year, please do. And also, if you see someone who has resolutions and you want to support them, leave them nice comments because we could all use the support this time of year, frankly. Anyway, I'll link it down below. So if you need Instagram caption <laughs> motivation, just saying that makes me want to die, you have it. And yeah, let me know which one was your favorite and if you thought some of them were basic bitch ones because I definitely do. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to my patrons as always and I'll catch you guys next time.